Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and here are your angel card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you. Leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy the readings and have a really positive week. So Aries, let's have a look at your cards for this week. And your card from the Mini Mindfulness Oracle card is the card Shine. And it says, spread loving kindness wherever you go. So this week, just be mindful to do that. A little kindness goes a long, long way. And it might be something very small or insignificant to you, but it could mean the absolute world to somebody else. So just bear that in mind. And moving on, speaking of loving kindness, your overall energy is the Queen of Teacups. And that's just what she personifies, loving kindness. Anyone in her orbit feels well loved, looked after and cared for. And that's just what she's doing on the card. Look, she's making a cup of tea for other people. Now, in order for her to be so efficient at this, she has to make sure that her energy levels and self-care take priority. So that's just another little bit of mindfulness for you. Just make sure self-care is the top of your list this week. And then once you've done that, the lovely qualities of charity, humanity and humility, helping other people. So this could be somebody coming in to help you in this regard, or it could be you stepping up to this position getting out there, getting organised, helping other people and giving you time, giving you energy in a very charitable and loving way. Your help or your hurdle, we have the four of coins. Now this card says, just remember to consider situations of too much or too little and strike a balance right down the middle. Our lovely angel on the card here, look, she needs to balance these scales. There's too many on one side and not enough on the other. So this could relate to work-life balance. We're talking about self-care here. To get your work-life balance in good order. Look at your finances. Do they need balancing? Are you spending too much? Are you holding on to too much? Look at the energy and the time you give to other people as well. Are you giving too much and not taking time for yourself? So any of these situations, just be mindful of them this week and make sure you get a very good balance between the two. The guidance here, we have the Ace of Pencils. Now the Aces are all about new beginnings. And the Ace of Pencils brings in new ideas, new information and clarity on your next steps forward. Our lovely angel here, look, she's missed the target with the first few attempts, but now she's hit the bullseye because she's kept going. She's learned how to do it. She's gained new ideas. She now has the clarity and exactly she knows exactly what she needs to do to hit that bullseye now every time. But she's gathered this information together. So this is something that you need to be mindful of this week. Look out for new information coming in, new ideas, new ways of doing things. Because this is here to help you move along. How can we help ourselves? The Knight of Coins shows up. Now, the Knights are all very fast moving energy. They all have motorbikes. But the Knight of Coins is the only one not riding theirs. Because our angel on the illustration here is looking at the map. She's making a detailed plan. She's thinking it through. And this is the card of plan A, plan B, and if necessary, plan C. So get yourself organised this week. So that when this move forward comes, you know exactly where you're going. And you know exactly how you're going to get there. And you're going to learn that from these new ideas and this clarity coming in. 
and then remember to take the action steps. Remember to get back on the bike and start moving towards your destination. Pulling it all together, the four of teacups comes in and that's a mindfulness card. And it's just a timely little reminder to say, ask yourself, are you focused in one direction only? Because there's an absolutely glorious opportunity here. And all you have to do is stand up and turn around and look at the bigger picture to see it. So new information and new ideas coming in. Be awake to those because they could bring in this fantastic, they could remind you of this wonderful opportunity that you're missing at the moment. So step back, stand up, look at the bigger picture. That's all she's got to do on the card here. Look, he's turned around and she'll see this golden opportunity. So just be mindful to do that for yourself this week. And the outcome card, the strength card says you can do it. Yes, you can. You've got the courage, you've got the strength. And it also reminds you to use loving kindness in your interaction with others. We're talking about loving kindness here. Here it is again. You can be assertive, you can be organised and kind all at the same time. And embracing kindness, gentleness and assertiveness those qualities are the qualities that are going to help you get this plan together and hit the target right where you want to be. That's the goal. That's where you want to be going. So let's just summarise. Charity, humanity, humility, loving kindness. First of all, make sure your self-care is taken care of. And then use these qualities to help other people. Be careful of situations of too much and too little. Work-life balance, strike the balance right down the middle. Make sure your energies are topped up as well. And take notice of these new ideas, this new clarity and new information coming in for you. And use that in your plan. Get it in an action plan. Make a detailed plan and be ready to move forward with that. Look at the whole picture. Make sure you're not solely focused in one direction, focusing on the past. Now you need to turn around and look to the future and use those lovely qualities of kind assertiveness and courage to get yourself moving in this new direction. So let's just clarify with the Time to Shine deck. We've got the Nine of Wisdom. That says it's time to shine your light in the world. Teach from experience. Show the world what you know. Be that bright light and beacon for other people to follow. Time for you to step up, perhaps into this leadership role here, and know that you can do it. The two of life, again, is about balance. We're talking about that here. Keep life in balance. Make wise and sensible choices when you've got all your information and take some time out to have fun as well. And the seven of action is a lovely echo of this strength card here. And it says time to stand up for yourself. Be gently and kindly assertive. Think your choices through with care. Make sure that you gently and assertively get your point across and all can be well and this can be a really good week for you getting your plans and moving in this fantastic new direction. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Thank you for subscribing. Just click that subscribe button. It absolutely makes my heart sing when you do and it also helps you get notified when I do the next reading for you. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching the reading. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.